Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Cal Royal number 800K32D entry function knob trim for a common Cal Royal exit device. First of all, it's a really nice quality trim at a very inexpensive sort of cost. Knobs are not, of course, the most common trim, uh, but there are times and instances when a knob is exactly what the client wants. Here it is. This is going to work, quite frankly, with um, a lot of exit devices. Um, I use it with Cal Royal naturally. This uh, tailpiece has a plus sign shape rather than just a flat bar that's coming out. I like that sort of design because this tailpiece stays straight rather than there being a significantly greater amount of flex in it. So that tailpiece, when they're flat, they tend to be more like this. And when they enter the uh, female side underneath the head case, they imperceptibly, imperceptibly are a little bit tipped down so that when they rotate to turn the trim to pull the device back, there's, ever, there's a slight amount of resistance because it's, you know, it's being asked to rotate, you know, in the, like a in a large circle rather than just on its axis like this. So I prefer the plus sign design, plus uh, sign design over others. Now this trim will include two original keys. For some reason, this this lock has uh, three. That's not typical. You're only going to get two. The C8000K is an entrance function, or you're probably, you know, it's, I think it's more apt to call it a classroom function because you can leave it locked or unlocked. So the application of this is that the owner of the business will come to work in the morning. It's an auto shop. He'll unlock that that service door for the clients to come in all day long. You're just pulling the door open. A knob's probably not the right scenario for that, uh, but a lever. At the end of the day, because it's a public sort of access, it might be handicap compliant. Nice large rosette on this as well. Okay, smooth operation. So the installation of this is going to be quite simple and straightforward. Uh, you're going to get two screws, and those two screws are going to communicate with the plate that is going to install. So the trim goes onto the door first. Okay. And you're going to get, pardon me, this plate will go on the opposite side of the door and you're going to run your two screws right through, which are here, and get that trim out of the door. Not excessively tight. You will get the uh, removal pin for the knob should you need to rekey this, if you're someone who has that ability, that's included. Uh, there is also a template included. Uh, below this video and what you're going to see is a reference to the alignment studs Okay called out here those alignment studs are here and here and it's a nice idea to have The two holes drilled for the alignment studs to stay on the trim so that when you insert it into the door The holes in the door will act as a way by which to help prevent the unintentional turning of the trim, especially if it's a lever, over time given and due to just standard use. It will put, you know, significant strain on the, uh, on the trim and the exit device and it will make it to a point where when you insert the key, you're not able to retract the latch bolt all the way because of how this uh, might be positioned or you're not able to turn it far enough. So you'll want to follow the instructions uh, for the template calling out those pins. This will take just a typical 2 and an eighth inch hole with those two pin, pins not at 12 and 6, but at 9 and 3. They're horizontal on this model. Okay, These are the holes that get the screws. All this goes through the hole, the 2 and an eighth hole in the door. These are your uh, what they call alignment studs. Typical 2 and 3 quarter back set uh, is what is required for this trim, but that is based on the back set that the device requires. So your standard 5000 series device from Cal Royal or their 2200 series 
is going to take that typical two and three quarter back set. So that makes it very nice and handy. I have been personally selling this Cal Royal material for 15 years at this point, and I'm it's just tried, true, trusted. Um, I have no qualms about continuing to sell it. It's a predictable, reliable product. That's the bottom line. I don't enjoy taking these locks apart and rekeying them because, quite frankly, I find that lower quality or lower duty or lower cost hardware is simply not as pleasant to work on as it, as would a piece of hardware that's several times orders of magnitude more expensive. And if you are a distributor or a locksmith or a building engineer, uh, someone who's done that, you know what I mean. It's not as pleasant to do this. The machining tolerance aren't as high. But if you're the contractor who's doing a tenant build out, you're going to love this piece of hardware because you're not taking the knob off. All you're doing is installing a piece of hardware that was budget friendly that your client is going to enjoy because it's going to give them reliable service. And those statements actually pervade the entire broad spectrum of Cal Royal products, lock sets, exit devices, door closers, hinges, other builders hardware, an ever growing comprehensive offering of builders hardware, commercial and residential. Anyway, if you have any questions on the Cal Royal, nine, uh, 8000K knob trim in a classroom function, even though they call it entry, or any other Cal Royal product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.